Okay, so uh, this is the plan for the uh, bracing of the guitar, and it's gonna be a so-called uh, falcat bracing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these um, templates, <laughs> and I'm gonna cut um, these uh, bracings, these uh, spruce pieces, into three pieces and uh, laminate them over the, these uh, uh, molds, forms and uh, create like the for cut bracing. So first I have to split them apart. Now I'm gonna slice them open into three parts. One cut here and here. And I'm gonna do this with the pencil Firstly, go once this, and then the other way. So now they are split and I now can bend them and uh, laminate them into shape. But first I gotta do the other five. Okay, as you might hear, I, it's the next day and uh, I got a little bit of a cold in the middle of the summer. But uh, what you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna continue now. Um, sending these thin stripes of uh, spruce I just cut out uh, yesterday and um, yeah just made them all nice and even and I'm not gonna use my drum sander for this so here we go Okay, now a couple of these uh, strips are like uh, the, the center strip, like you I cut out in the middle and I tried to make them a little bit thicker because I'm gonna send them now on both sides and yeah, to get like the same thickness out of them. It's, it's not really that important that they are all the same thickness, but uh, yeah should should be around like one and a half to two millimeters each
All right, so this is the plan for the uh, for cup racing that I'm going to do. And you can see these braces are like those arcs. And it's kind of a different construction than like normally. Normally you would have, an, on a steel string guitar, you would have an X bracing. So you would have like an X that's um, pretty much located, located like that. And then you would have like some finger braces to fill out the uh, gaps. And I'm, I really like the far card bracing because it's like introducing a whole nother way of um, yeah, shaping braces. So normally you could only have like straight braces. And uh, yeah, if you laminate uh, those three thin sheets together and glue it, uh, on like an this this kind of a uh, shape, you can uh, yeah create these um, arcs, and as you can see, if I'm having like a next brace, they are anchored in these shoulders. I could make the X like that, but um, to to use like the whole. Um, surface of the top, but um, yeah, it, it, it wouldn't really actuate the uh, this part of the top. So um, yeah, the, the main main goal is uh, of an X brace is to um, create like a very stiff and um, center focus construction, and um, yeah, to support the sound hole, which would be normally here, and yeah. That's like the two purposes of the X-Brace, to um, combine the whole top into one one like major construct construction and um, um, to support the part of the bridge that, uh, of the top that is most susceptible to deformation and which happens to have like a hole in it, um, it uh, like on the normal normal guitars <laughs> and um, I don't have that and I don't really need to have like a very very stiff area here so the far card bracing is much more um, flexible and loose and uh, of, co of course depends on, on how you execute it but um, yeah I found it to be um, suited quite nicely for my guitars and I like the fact that I can kind of activate the whole top so I can go into these um, shoulders here and yeah normally I would only use this part when I got like the X and then uh, maybe put a brace like this or that but it, it's, it's not really doing anything and here I got like this huge um, huge brace, brace that's, that's very very long and uh, yeah I think it's it's uh, helping the monopole a little bit, and um, yeah, I, I, I kind of like it, like this new dimension of um, um, bracing the top, and yeah, worked out quite well, and so I'm doing it for this guitar too, and yeah, I made these uh, kind of templates, and now I'm gonna take always uh, three thin sheets of spruce and glue them together like this. So in order to uh, laminate those uh, braces I'm gonna use these templates and I put some tape on there so it doesn't stick to a template and I'm gonna put some glue on the inside and uh, use those um, rubber uh, yeah, stripes to kind of um, yeah, put some uh, apply some pressure, and uh, I made these uh, using some old um, bicycle tires, and I just cut them up. I got them for free from a bicycle store, and uh, it's really nice to kind of 
uh, apply the pressure. So, first, I'm gonna use this uh, brush. Just pack the glue. generous with the glue. They should be... Um, yeah, I need them to be really uh, strong and uh, sturdy. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I start by fixing it on the one side. Clamp. And yeah, that should do it. The glue is uh, squeezing out, and now I can put it aside and uh, do the other ones. I'm gonna use the white one. Try to have it flat on the outside. And a nice thing about these uh, rubber tubes is they kind of um, yeah, shrink with the uh, if you kind of uh, push it down and then uh, it, it closes the gap basically. the clamp to uh, fix the end and yeah that should do it and now I can just unpack those like the no, downside using these tubes um, can't dry it that much but uh, yeah it takes much longer so I take it away uh, when it's uh, basically it's got a shape and uh, now I lay it in the sun and let it completely dry this one uh, dried much better because there's uh, like some um, space for the air to kind of dry it. So uh, yeah, for the big ones uh, probably it's better to just uh, wrap it like this and not, not like completely seal it like that. And I'm gonna let it dry until tomorrow because um, I need to sand it flat and um, yeah, 
when it's when it's uh, uh, wet like this, when the glue isn't cured completely, it's uh, kind of messing up the sandpaper, and uh, yeah, that's that's no fun. So these are the uh, dried braces, and as you can see, they are a little bit dirty, and uh, so I'll have to basically sand the surfaces and um, straighten the edges to be able to proceed. Now to um, kind of clean up the edges I'm gonna use my um, electric plane and um, I don't want to use my um, belt sander for it because our drum sander for it because yeah, the, the glue tends to kind of uh, mess up the paper and uh, then I'll have to basically replace the paper and uh, so I'm gonna use um, the plane as much as possible. Just put them over there and be careful not to touch the plate. <laughs> I got a nice and even edge and now I'm gonna clean off the excess glue using my drum sander. Very nice and clean. Okay, now I'm gonna use uh, this uh, mold basically um, to to sand the braces. And if you remember, the uh, the face of my guitars, the tops, they have like this three-dimensional shape. So it's uh, this in here, and there's like a dome on it. And basically, I used some uh, liquid uh, ceramic to make, um, yeah, make like the negative, uh, negative shape of that. And um, because I'm gonna glue these uh, frets on the back side of the um, top, I'm gonna need to have like the um, negative shape on it. As you can see, the um, contour it's it's flipped like it's like from the back back side and as you can see I gotta take some material off here and on the edges and yeah basically I'm gonna use this to to sand them and if they um, yeah are like nice and flat to the surface um, I'm good to glue them on.
And I kind of want to, yeah, do like very uh, small movements, not like standing like this would do nothing because uh, it's, yeah, very three dimensional shape and not just like a dome. And so I have to do like these small movements and exactly on the spot where I want it to be. Yeah, and yeah, this will like press down and uh, I think that's that's good enough. And do the next one. So that's how the uh, braces are going to be located. And next thing I need is this, um, yeah, the bridge plate basically to have some, uh, yeah, uh, some hardwood underneath there to, um, yeah, hold the locator screws. And yeah, more like this. Well, I'll figure it out later. I cut it out with the pencil and now I'm gonna um, sand it nice and so it fits nicely. Okay, I'm gonna use my drum sander to shape these concave shapes. And these two lines, they are slightly concave too, so I'm gonna try to do it here as well. <laughs> Let's see now how it fits. And yeah, it looks good. Like this. It would also help like to um, hold these uh, two main braces in place while I'm uh, gluing them down. Okay, now I'm ready to glue on the braces. And for that I'm going to use this uh, old school clamping mechanism. And the way you clamp with this is uh, you have like these uh, wooden sticks and you basically yeah, pull them like this and uh, um, you can really nicely put pressure on like several spots of the braces and uh, glue them down one by one. Okay, the glue has uh, right now and I can remove these bars. There you go. <coughs> Yeah, and now it's uh, way too stiff and I'm gonna 
um, start shaping the braces and taking off like most of the material and um, yeah okay so now I'm gonna shape the top braces and actually what I want to do is um, mark the center line so that's the line where the bridge is laying and I want to kind of um, scallop them so take away the material in the middle and then I'm gonna have like some some high points about here maybe like so so from here to here I'm gonna take out the material and then I'm gonna zero, zero it out to the um, sides and on this one this will be the highest point and then work it down like this so first I'm gonna start sawing down the center line maybe it's better to like this And now I can work down the bridges to the middle and then from the other side and um, yeah so take out these the middle part. And these braces are quite hard to work because they are laminated and I don't have the world's best chisels but yeah that's working all right how to fix the top okay be careful here bottom one and that's still way too high We 
want to get these um, ends like down to zero. And it's it's kind of hard to explain how much to uh, take off and leave or whatever. Um, it's it's most likely uh, it's more like a, yeah I've done a couple of, done it a couple of times and uh, yeah it's about getting a feeling for it and uh, getting the right stiffness and the right tap tone and uh, there's like a baseline where I want to get now and then um, proceed by uh, yeah really voicing the top so this is still way too high and this side could be a little bit lower and uh, yeah this as well Way too stiff. Okay, um, I've looked at the uh, my plan, and uh, yeah, basically, uh, I'm I'm way too high still, so. I mark the um, the height I have to go down to at least so the the braces um, themselves they they are purely purely for for sound reasons so the top would be um, stiff enough um, because of the lamination already and I still want to get um, yeah use them to, to, to basically get, get more more bass response and uh, overall more um, yeah more defined tone. Okay, that's more like it. Still have to get this down a little bit. Time for a hearing test. are ready for a tap tone test and I know, don't know if you can hear it but maybe
So what I'm doing, I'm holding it um, on this uh, long brace here, and yeah, about this position. Uh, if you hold it up there, where the top basically isn't mo isn't moving, so it's it's usually like um, at like one one third, one quarter, about yeah, about here, <laughs> and. So what I'm looking for is um, like a, a big variety of uh, notes, and I want to be uh, to have like the uh, the bass side a little bit lower than the uh, treble side, and also a good good measurement is to kind of yeah try to to flex it and. Yeah, to get get an idea how how stiff the top is, and it's like um, yeah, the most important thing to get like the uh, stiffness right. So this seems to be quite stiff still, but um, yeah, it already. It already opened up, and I think I can can remove a little bit more of the uh, high spots here, and then later I'm gonna glue it into my um, solid frame, and then uh, I will hear a drop in the pitch, so the solid frame will increase the bass response, and um, also will. Really, really increase like the sustain and the volume and like the vibrance of the top when I have the uh, frame glued on, and that's when I'm gonna make the final final tuning. And yeah, but I think I still can work down some of the high spots. This looks good. And I think a little bit more on the on the base side. It uh, sounds too too bright. And yep. Okay. So as I said, the base side seems to be a little stiff. And you wanna kind of kind of knock on it and. Uh, Shape of something, and then uh, yeah, so you can can hear the difference and uh, know what you're doing. Seems a little bit better. I think that's good for now. And yeah, this one seems too high. Check it first. Also, we can kind of um, maybe hold it here or somewhere else. Basically, when you when you are tapping here, you want to hold it on the opposite side, and it's uh, gonna make you um, yeah. Give you the best response. Yeah, I think I can work that down a little bit too. And I want this to be relatively flat and yeah, kind of uh, fade out um, relatively evenly. So. Um, yeah, the top gets activated a little bit here from the sprays, but uh, yeah, it's not gonna happen so much in here. So it doesn't matter that the brace isn't going all the way up.
later when I gonna put it into the frame and then later when I put on the bridge and then put all all things together uh, it, it's 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 not like the final state it always changes when I add like another um, add like the frame or the body or the bridge to it so I'm not looking for like a specific note or anything I'm only um, looking for uh, a basic response and uh, yeah it's kind of a feeling when it's when it's um, when it's there and yeah good good measurement is also the, the stiffness of the top and the customer said he wants to use like very heavy springs so this is still quite quite stiff and I think I'm gonna make it on the stiff side so this area seems a little bit dead so it's uh, quite tight these two braces so I get them down a little bit good and uh, now we'll glue down the um, frame and then continue from there okay so before I can glue it on the uh, frame I need to cut like the outer uh, parts here away this is good this is good this I'm gonna Gently saw it away a little bit. And then push a little off. 